Hey guys, it's Overlord here, back again with day one of my 13 days of Halloween, and today we are, of course, looking at something that most likely crawled out of there. Today we're having a look at the Ghost Rider movie series, Caretaker. Um, now, this guy, being in the movie series, means he actually showed up in the movie. I know there were two concept series figures, Scarecrow and Vengeance, which we had a look at Scarecrow a couple of years ago. Chances are that's located in my Ghost Rider playlist, but I digress. Um, but we will be having a look at Vengeance on Wednesday. So uh, come back for that uh, later this week. So uh, Caretaker. Um, very difficult figure to get. Uh, complete anyway. I was able to find mine for 15 bucks shipped. Oh, do not believe how ecstatic I was to get this guy. So, uh, yeah. Um, just to give you the 360 there. But um, he does come with a couple accessories. Uh, he comes with this giant shotgun. She holds pretty decent. It's got this giant missile in it, and if we shoot it, it shoots pretty well. It's a fireball. Chances are I won't display him with that, but I will have him holding this, because this is a pretty damn good uh, looking shotgun here. At least that's what it's supposed to be. It's all uh, held out, and it's got all the bones sticking out, like the spinal cord, and then it's got the handle there, and all this fire stuff, and then the tip is metal so that's pretty cool I do like that nice sculpted detail and paint work and that's actually got a chain down here so yeah and obviously it's a little oversized it would have been nice if it was maybe a little thinner but eh, can't win them all it's a decent size uh, gun for this guy to hold the other accessory is his hat which does uh, come off. And uh, you can see that there. It's pretty cool. Most of the time if you get this guy loose, he's missing this. But a lot of the time now. Um, well, I guess nowadays a lot of the loose figures are starting to at least have this hat and the uh, shotgun. So that's pretty cool. Sorry about that. Um, now looking at the uh, some close-ups here. Give a look at that head sculpt. That is a really kick-ass head sculpt there. The skull and the details on it. Some nice uh, texture work there. <laughs> um, and then the same goes for the other side. It's got a nice black wash on it to give it that uh, decayed effect or skull effect. It's got an articulated jaw too, which is really cool. So you can have him uh, talk, you know. <laughs> so uh, that's cool. But his head is on a ball joint. It doesn't have the greatest range of movement, but it looks up and down a little bit and it rotates. And then this fire thing here rotates. It does not hinge or anything it just rotates and it is a softer plastic so it's more pliable and uh check out the check out this craziness there are his ribs there being engulfed by a flame pretty cool uh, sculpt work there uh, i do dig that um and then the legs are pretty standard they're just brown pants and he's got his cowboy boots and then uh, same thing on the other side. He's using his trench coat to help him stand because mine's got a little bit of wobbly ankle syndrome. Some of the figures from this line have that. Some of them don't. It just depends on how lucky you get. Uh, his arms uh, got a pretty good sculpt on those too. The hands there. These flame pieces rotate separately from the wrist so you can rotate just you can rotate the wrist 
here, or you can rotate the cuff, or you can rotate both. So, and his wrist has a hinge there. A lot of these fi figures actually have individual figure finger articulation, eh, depending on uh, what their gimmick is. This guy, it would have been nice to have that, but he's got the small hands, so probably wouldn't have uh, lasted long. But uh, getting into the articulation, he does have a uh, universal joint at the shoulder, so it moves up that much, and then it goes back down. It will rotate a full 360. It's just a bitch to do, so I'm not going to do it. Um, he does have a bicep swivel. Gives you a full 360. His uh, double-jointed elbow gives him about that much range of movement. And then we already looked at the uh, wrist articulation. So there's no need for that again. Um, same thing on the other side. His gimmick is ma mainly the missile firing thing, so it's all good. Then he's got an ab crunch, which doesn't really move that much. It's not that effective, unless I try and get in there and move it myself. Oh, yeah. Can't get it to click forward once. It is really stiff, though. Really, really solid ratchet joint up in there. Um, he's got a waist rotation. Uh, he's got T-jointed hips. They move in and out. Hindered by this coat, which is a harder plastic. Uh, he's got a thigh swivel. He's got double-jointed knees. Which it's hard enough just to bend one. Bend both. <laughs> it's really, really. Oh, well, that's as far as I can get it, but I think it can move farther than that. And then he actually has a rotation at the knee, too, so kind of redundant, but pretty cool. He's got a swivel at the foot with a little bit of a pivot, but that's the loose part, so he's kind of hard to stand. And then he's actually got a hinge, too. You can get a good look at that. But uh, that is all the articulation. But I want to look at the coat quick. Um, it's got some nice worn down. Uh, it's got a nice worn down look to it. It's got the coat tail there. I like the split. Looks like there's a belt here. These holes and stuff. Really good uh, texture work there. Nice wash. And then he's got the collar. And at the bottom, it's all, uh, the bottom looks cleaner than the top, actually, which is kind of funny. Uh, there's a little bit of charring there. It's charred up. Well, that is the caretaker in all of his caretakeriness. <laughs> so we're going to give him his hat back. Because every, uh, Cowboy needs a 10-gallon hat, and we'll give him back his shotgun. Which he will use for it as a crutch for the rest of this video. You know, if he wants to fall forward and not backward. I know it will work with that. So there is the caretaker. We'll bring the size comparison here. Tomorrow's review, in fact. Alright. Here we go. There's noise going on in the background. Jeez. There is Ghost Rider himself, so. can see Ghost Rider is a teeny bit taller but they're about uh, eye to eye so that's that but uh, overall Caretaker is awesome he's a great addition to your 
figures it like to fall over. Yeah. Uh, he is a great addition to your uh, Ghost Rider collection and an excellent uh, figure for your Marvel Legends collection. So I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. Mine, I got loose, so that's why his ankle joints are a bitch, but uh, <laughs> I'm not going to put that against him. I still say pick this guy up if you can. So uh, until next time, guys, I'll catch you later with another edition of the 13 Days Halloween. See you guys later.